Taurus, how are you doing? We are going to be looking into the 13th to the 19th 19th of December for you for this week. I hope you are well. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and we're going to have a look, see what's coming through. Before I get started, I just wanted to mention if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Um, private paid reading information is down below if you would like one with me. They are done within 12 to 24 hours. And the last thing I wanted to mention is that intention manifesting items, which are handmade by me, are listed down on, below on my website. So there's lots of links down below. Um, my website is shopmoonlightguidance.com where there are intention manifesting items for many different intentions. And in those categories, there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse. There's crystals, candles, sage. Um, and there's also the review section at the bottom of my website where you can see how people have seen results with them. And they also make great gifts as well. So if you are interested, do check those out. All right, so let's have a look and see. Taurus, what we have, 13th to the 19th of December. Well, there's an opportunity here. <laughs> it's it's the most obvious card I can see because it's it's visually the only one I can see here and so can you right so knight of cups is an opportunity coming your way so I feel like you should prepare for this because it's coming your way and let's see what it is so there's a, definitely a money opportunity from what I'm picking up on you literally got Virgo right here as well so yeah there's an opportunity that's going to make you think so some of you might contemplate the opportunity before you just jump straight into it. Someone can come to you with an offer and be like, would you like to help us with this particular thing? We'll give you this much money for it. And you're thinking to yourself, okay, let me think about this. Let me do some research because some of you might think to yourself, hmm, maybe it sounds a little bit too good to be true. Just need to do some research. Others of you might um, spend a bit of time, maybe ask someone in your family uh, or a friend and then, you know, you go forward with it. And for others of you, I really feel here that you will want to accept it uh, straight away. Now, this can be, you know, helping someone to do something. It could be a promotion. Um, it could also be another opportunity that, you know, I'm, I'm seeing here. But also, for some of you, this is love related. And so it's a bit complicated in that sense because... I see a split here. <laughs> for some of you, this is going to be career related. For some of you, it's going to be love related. And for some of you, maybe both, right? But what I see here is that there's an opportunity coming your way and it's going to make you think. And when you know that in this week, you will know that this is what I'm talking about, all right? That, that is the thing, is that it's going to make you think. It's not just something you're going to just jump straight into and be like, yep, yep. It's really going to make you think and then you're going to accept because you're really going to thoroughly analyze things. And that is the hermit energy. It's Virgo, right? That's what you're going to do, Taurus, and you're going to really, really think about things with that earth energy, which you also have within yourself. So the Ace of Cups here shows that yes, someone also romantically can come towards you and want to progress things with you and want to talk to you and offer you something. And with the Two of Pentacles, you're going to then decide whether it's good enough for you, whether you like it enough, whether you care about it enough. And so that's going to be your choice. And for every Taurus, is going to be a little bit different, right? But the, the main thing here is that I see an opportunity and either it's love or it's career or it's both, but you're going to have something from what I see. Um, so that's what I wanted to mention. Okay, opportunity. <laughs> what more could I say? For many of you, although most of you, it is going to be career related or work related or like study related if you're studying. And um, the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter energy. We know Jupiter is about expansion, growth, very auspicious and prosperous, but it's also to do with success. And so that is beautiful. I love it. I love seeing this. How amazing is that? Opportunity is coming your way. And on the 19th, we have a Venus retrograde. <laughs> so um, of course, you know, you're ruled by Venus as a Taurus. So just keep in mind that the Venus retrograde it's interesting, it just makes you think a lot more. If, if there's something you need to know about the Venus retrograde is that you're gonna go into thinking mode a lot more during that period of time. So it starts on the 19th, uh, it's something I wanna mention. The world card, got some really lovely cards here. Throat chakra is gonna be activated. A lot of you are gonna have something going on with your, with your throat region area. Could be something to do with your neck, okay? Uh, your throat, thyroid, mouth, some of you might be 
getting teeth, teeth work, teeth work? Wow, wow, I'm so, so, you know, considering there are so many dentists and uh, doctors in my family, <laughs> like, I just don't explain this very well, do I? But I'm not one, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, so basically, what do you call it? Um, dentist, Dent you might be getting like dental things, or some of you might have um, some like troubles or issues with uh, sore throat, um, wisdom teeth, grinding, grinding at night, things like that. It, you just might be doing a bit more of it. Your throat chakra is very activated in this particular week. Um, so yeah, what did I mention? Thyroid, teeth, uh, ears, right? Ears are also connected. Sinuses, um, yeah, tongue, tongue. You get my point, right? In that particular area, we, we see some activity happening. Now, if it gets worse, you want to see a medical professional. Very, very important, okay? But I, I don't feel like it's going to be terrible. There's just some activity happening in that area that I'm picking up on. Um, also, like, things like mouth ulcers and things like that. It's it's not terrible, but there's some activity happening. I just have to mention that. If it gets worse, you want to see a medical professional. Anyways, uh, that's, that's the thing, though. It's, like, kind of connected to, like, health and, you know, things like that. And obviously, I don't look into that so deeply, but I just wanted to tell you so that you know, right? I mean, yeah, your throat chakra is very, very powerful. So throat chakra is blue. And remember, Taurus is ruled by the throat. Yes, yes, yes. So we've got the strength card here as well. Many of you are going to be speaking your truth as well. That's what I see here is that you are really going to stand up for yourself and you are not going to accept S-H-I-T from anyone, okay? Queen of Cups, I feel like some of you have just had it with certain people and you're just like, you know what? No, not today. Not today, Satan, no. <laughs> it, it's just a sense of like you putting yourself first and really standing up for yourself and thinking about opportunities as well. Like, aha, uh -huh, what do I deserve? You know, I work hard, I do this, I do that. What do I really deserve? And so that's really what you're doing here. Nine of Cups, yep. You're also thinking about your dreams and your desires and your wishes, Four of Wands. Look, I'm telling you, all right, you're going to see 11-11 a lot. You are going to, um, you're going to feel like you're on the right path because, interestingly enough, opportunities are coming, but you're feeling stronger. You feel like you can really stand up to yourself. Because some of you have had a difficult time being able to do so. Saturn energy is about, you know, feeling satisfied, fulfilled, motivated. Nine of Wands is really powerful because Nine of Wands is about, um, Wondering, pondering, thinking, contemplating, as we as we very much so know that you are doing there with the, even the number nine of the Hermit card. King of Wands. Oh yeah, see, like you are standing up for yourself this week. There is no backing down in the sense of being disrespected, like absolutely not. Also, um, Six of Cups here. An opportunity coming your way, which I pretty much discussed probably like a million times. You're probably like, do you have any new information for us? Or can we just like exit your video so that we save another like what, like two, three minutes? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like there's also some traveling energy as well. Some of you may be making a little trip here. Um, there's also an energy of families, spending time with family, talking to family. Also, the world card here also shows a trip. But I also show here as well, like trying to bridge some kind of distance with somebody that's at a distance from you. So you might be getting messages or communication from them. And also we do see here this aspect of like love, but this can also be seen as an opportunity. So I just wanted to mention that there is someone here that romantically does care for you and really wants to um, show their appreciation towards you. They may even send you a gift from what I'm seeing. And you might decide whether you want to accept it or not. That That's really interesting. And also the Page of Swords here shows that to, to a degree, you're just kind of minding your own business, doing your own thing, feeling good about yourself and letting these opportunities come your way. It's honestly one of the best things you can do, Taurus, because it's a really wonderful week, which is giving you change. Like there's so many opportunities coming your way. You're in a place of power. You feel good. I'm using my message cards, which I've made. I actually narrowed these down. They have like both positive and negative messages. But the main thing here is that the other deck, I had like over 100 messages. I couldn't even shuffle them. So I think that this is a nice amount. It's like the, the Mercury Realms Edition 2 cards, like the, the same kind of like thickness so that I can actually like shuffle them. Ooh, see, we, see, we did have that energy of travel, right? We did mention it. Oh, yes. So there it is. Some of you may be doing a bit of traveling. Do. Oh, let's let's take this one. Is it coming out? Plan. Yep. 
someone here is planning to come towards you there's an opportunity but you may also be planning something as well you could be planning some kind of distance travel things like that sorry if that was really loud and it hurt your ears it hurt my ears and i'm not even listening through anything with headphones but i will fight for us oh yes see there is someone here that's coming towards you and you're going to have to decide whether you want to accept them or not. And for some of you, it could be a friend or a family member as well that is coming towards you in a very loving way. And you have to think to yourself, okay, is this really worth it? Because some of you may have gone through difficulties with them in the past. So that is what we have there, Taurus. This is your reading. If this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And do take care, everyone, as well. All right. Bye.